Good morning, boaters. Okay, it is almost the end of May and we're getting ready for boating season. If you watched my other video, I took down the shelter that I put over this bow rider rather than shrink wrapping it and it worked perfectly to keep the elements off the boat. So now I'm going to dewinterize this boat and I'm going to show you the different steps. It's not many, it's just going backward from winterizing it. Uh, making sure everything's ready to go for that first startup. Okay, thank you. Stand by. All right, first step is we're going to get the battery back into the boat. I decided to take mine out of the boat rather than just disconnecting it. That way I can uh, trickle charge it once a month there with my trusty Motomaster battery charger from Canadian Tire. So it's uh, fully charged and we'll get it back in the boat so we can get things ready for the restart. All right, just before we put the battery in, I just wanted to show you what I did last fall when I was taking the electrical connections off the battery, I tie wrapped all the connections together that were all positive and which were all negative. So when it comes to putting the battery back in, I'm not guessing which one is going on which terminal and then uh, blowing a fuse. Just a little tip. All right, we got the battery in, battery cover on. Let's check for power. <sighs> okay, we have power. Everything looks good, gauges energized. Lower fan is working. And trim is good. And next step is to make sure the tire pressure after sitting all winter on your trailer is up to the manufacturing standards that's printed on the side of your tire there. So we're going to check it with our tire gauge and then top it up with this car uh, powered uh, air, uh, air pump. Okay. Another thing to look for before you put it in the waters, you can't check everywhere on the drive boot area, but at least you can check it for any obvious cracking or splitting that ha might have happened over the winter and also make sure there's nothing blocking the outtake and also just give it a little check over here before getting in the water and finding out that you have an issue with a water leak and before you actually put it in the water as well if you're like me and you took out the drain plug for the winter you might want to remember to put that back in before you start heading for the uh, lake. All right. Okay, we got the water muffs on. So we're going to do a test fire here and see how things start up uh, after a winter. So stand by. Okay, let's do that. Ready? I hope so. Started right like, like a kitten there, just ready to unleash the power. So we'll watch the gauges for a little bit. Oil pressure looks good. The engine temperature slowly going up. Half a tank and voltage looks good for charging. Okay. As you can see, we got water coming out of the outtake there, so we're looking good. Okay, engine temperature looks good, stable, and 
we're all good for another season. So thanks for watching. If you like this, like it or subscribe if you want to see more videos like this, if they help you out. Take care boaters and have fun out on the water.